Welcome to today's PowerPoint presentation, Mental Health First Aid, The Basics. I'd like to take a brief moment, please, to formally introduce myself. Uh, I am Pam Conover. I'm a night shift nursing supervisor at the Neurodiagnostic Institute and Advanced Treatment Center. Before we start, I'd just like to make a little notation here. Uh, many people are placed in a position to help a family member, co-worker, or friend who is struggling with symptoms of mental illness. I am going to discuss a program that is designed to provide information about basic skills that are helpful for lay people when faced with dealing with a crisis of this nature. So let's please get started. Mental health, the scope of the problem. Statistics are showing that mental illness has become more widespread as a result of the pandemic and has even been called the second pandemic. Mental illness affects all ages and doesn't discriminate on race, social, economic status. Anyone can be affected by a disruption in their mental health at any time. The World Health Organization estimates that one in four people will suffer from a mental illness at some point in their time in our lives. The most common types of mental illness are depression and mood disorders, anxiety disorders, trauma, psychosis, and substance abuse disorder. Depression is the leading cause of disability around the world. We all have been impacted by mental illnesses at some point in our time, in our lives. Our own lived experience, the experience of a loved one, the experience of a coworker, the experience of a community event, Columbine, Virginia Tech, Sandy Hook Elementary, and recently FedEx. How do we help those who have mental illness? Mental health first aid teaches the basic principles of helping someone with mental illness. Similar to CPR, our basic first aid training interventions are designed to help get people in crisis the assistance they need. It also equips people to be proactive in offering help, first responders, to someone in crises. What are the steps to helping? Assess for risk of suicide or harm either to themselves or others. Threatening to hurt or kill oneself. Seeking access to means to hurt or kill oneself. Talking or writing about death, dying, or suicide. Feeling hopeless. Acting recklessly or engaging in risky behaviors or activities. Increased use of alcohol or drugs. Withdrawing from friends, family, or society. Appearing agitated or angry having a dramatic change in mood. Please note that many of the mental illnesses have similar presentations of symptoms when people are in a crisis. The goal with mental health first aid is to be available to someone to get them help, not diagnose their problems. What are the steps to helping? It's important to seek emergency medical services if a person's life is in immediate danger. Call 911 to get immediate help. EMS is available when the person is in a medical crisis. They are trained to assist people in the public to get connected to help. You can ask for a crisis intervention team or a CIT trained officer when calling 911. These officers have had additional training on how to talk to someone experiencing a psychological crisis. Listen non-judgmentally. Taking the time to listen to someone is a key component in helping someone. Active listening engages the senses to help the person in crisis to feel calmer and heard. You don't need to have all the answers. You just need to be willing first to step in and talk to someone in a crisis. Active listening is a key component of helping someone with mental illness. Utilize eye contact, open body posture. Give reassurance and information. Mental, health, mental illness and addiction are real treatable illnesses. Don't blame the person or cr in crisis for his or her symptoms. Mental illness and addiction don't occur because someone lacks willpower or isn't religious enough or has not done something wrong. There still is a lot of stigma attached to admitting to having symptoms of mental illness. Mental illness and addiction are real illnesses 
and they are effective treatments available. Reaching out and acknowledging the struggle someone is going through is a powerful first step in helping them to see they don't have to deal with their issues by themselves. Information. Provide resources. Assist them to access the resources they may be too depressed, anxious, or scared to do this themselves. Local resources for assessing help are 911, 211, the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, text home to connect with a crisis counselor free 24-7 support at your fingertips, and also available is the Veterans Crisis Line. Information is necessary to help someone. It might be beneficial to research resources available in your community before you offer assistance. That might not always be an option during a crisis. The resources that are listed here are just a few of the local and national ones available. There are more specialized resources available to teens, children, older adults, and the GLBTQIA populations. These resources are more global and are meant to be a first step to getting someone help. Encourage them to get professional help. Depending on the needs of the person, help them get connected to professional help. Doctors, nurses, social workers, counselors, certified peer specialists. Also available is a Be Well Indiana or Dialing 211 are good places to start looking for assistance if the person isn't in a crisis. Be Well Indiana is a website that has several resources for connecting Hoosiers to services in their local communities. At this time, we will have a short video on the Be Well Indiana. Encourage them to get professional help. Treatment may include, but not limited to, outpatient counseling, medications, inpatient hospitalization, self-help groups. For more information on mental health first aid, listed below is a website in reference to first aid training. References and news stories are also a source of information. Listed below are a few sites that is available as well. This now concludes our presentation today and I want to take this opportunity to thank you for being a participant in the presentation. Thank you.